All right, this is a video for my students that I teach in class. It's going to help them make a study guide to learn how to pass the Adobe InDesign certification test. So for this part of the several series video, we're going to make a document that's a mobile app and we're going to learn how to do a master page with the logo that appears on all the other pages and you'll learn how to make a navigation menu with links and you'll learn how to publish it on Adobe Publishing to test all the links. So go to InDesign and say File New and you're going to choose Mobile and let's choose this Google Pixel because it's a good dimension for this project. It's 1080 by 1920. A file size to start with this and then we want it to have six pages. So say six. Make sure that you uncheck this primary text frame. What that is is a text frame gets automatically placed on every single page so that if you have text that's flowing it will automatically flow it to the next page but we're not going to have a lot of text in ours so uncheck that and you can leave the margins at 36 and all this here should be zero and make sure facing pages is not checked either. Alright then we're going to say create and here's our document so you see we have six pages on this this document here. So the first thing that you want to do is work on your master page. We're going to have a logo that we want to appear on all the pages. So if you go over here at the bottom left, if you see where my cursor is, and open up the master page. All right, so this is our page master and I want to place an InDesign logo right here at the top. So we're going to go to file, place, or control D and then locate the um, files that I'm going to give you to do this assignment. So all these will be provided for you and we're going to choose the InDesign logo right here. And we're going to click there and we want to center it near the top so you see that pink line clicks that means I have it centered and you just want it somewhere near the top. And then we want to draw a um, rectangle that's like a bar color right below that so I'm going to get the rectangle tool and go from one end of the page to the other and make it about that thick doesn't have to be anything exact and then we're going to get our eyedropper tool right here and we're going to click on this maroon color that's in the InDesign logo and then let's move it down just a tad or move that up a little bit something like that All right, so that's our master page. So now when we go to page one, you can see all of our pages have that on there. All right, so we don't need to go placing it on every page. It's already there from our master. All right, so on the very first page of this document that we're gonna make, it's gonna be kind of like a navigation for a website where you're gonna click on some links that you're gonna list below here, and it'll take you to other pages in the document. So I want this to be a color below this bar so I'm going to get my uh, rectangle tool again and I'm going to draw just below that color bar we have and I'll make it go all the way to the edge of the document and once again get my eyedropper tool and this time I'm going to click in and make it pink like to match the InDesign logo. Alright now we want to add another layer because we're going to keep some graphics and stuff on the um, bottom layer and some text on a different layer. So let me go to window layers and I'm going to create a new layer. And I can go ahead and name this one text and this other one I'm going to click on that and name it just graphics. Alright now I'm going to get you some titles to put on here that are going to be links to go to the other pages but before we do that let's type a title that goes in this bar right here. So let's get your text tool and I want you to drag a text box that goes from one end of the document to the other and then you are going to type study guide and I'm going to select all to have the text selected and let's make it white so I can actually see it and I'm going to choose Arial Black for that and I want it to be centered 
And let's enlarge this so it's a good size. Somewhere around 60 should be good. All right, to 60 points. And then I'm going to lower it a little bit. All right. So I just noticed that I put this on my graphics layer instead of text. So I'm going to copy that, delete it. Let's lock out the graphics layer, go to text, and go to edit, paste in place. All right, so that's how I want that to be. I want this to be in a preview mode too, and so I don't see a lot of lines. Click on window or view. Screen mode, preview. There we go. I, I don't want to see all those lines, so I want to have it in the preview mode like this. You can also press W on your keyboard to go from the preview mode to the working mode. All right, so I want to have a title that goes on all these pages. So what you can do is copy this. So click on study guide and go to copy, and then go to each page and do edit, paste in place. And that will put text that you can change later on each page, but at least it puts it in the right place for you. And you won't have to like make it the right size and center it and all that. So it's a easy way to get titles on all your pages. You can also just go over here and click on each page. I think I'll just do that. All right, so we will be changing the name study guide on each of the pages, but at least you have them all ready to go. So on the next part of this video, I'm going to give you some links that you're going to put on here that will link um, to other pages in the document. So we are going to get a text box and once again, drag it from one end of the document to the other and I already have mine typed so I'm just going to push paste and I'm going to highlight them and make it centered and we're going to use Arial, just regular Arial for this font not black, I want to make it Arial regular and let's do 60 points again sixty points and make the the leading 115 so that it's spaced out a little bit and I'm gonna slide close this text box up a little bit and slide it down alright this is all the links that we're gonna have on here now but I plan on giving you more links to put on at a later date we'll add to the study guide but that's all we're gonna have for now alright so I'm gonna show you how to actually make these texts into links so what you'll do is get your text tool and make, and just highlight the word and go over to type and go down to hyperlinks and cross references and put new hyperlink so when we get that we can tell it to link to either a website or a file or an email address we want it to link to another page in the document so we're going to say to a page and I want first of all I should name my document here let me back up a bit Let's go ahead and save this. And I will just call this study app. All right, let's go back to this. Select the word and then go to type and choose hyperlink. And we are going to make this go to a page in the document. And we want it to go to page two because page one is the navigation page and page two will put some information general info on that page and let's see we want the character style you can create a new character style like if you want the text to change to bold or to a different color you can do that um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I think I'll just leave it on none so it doesn't really do anything to it you could change the um, PDF appearance, like if you wanted to change colors or have a rectangle, but let's just go ahead and leave it on none. I do want you to know that you can change a character style, so if I wanted to like change my font to a different color when it's a link, you could just click on this new character style 
but for now we're just going to leave it on none and say OK. And then let's go to the next link here and do the same thing. We're going to go to type hyperlinks and we want this one to go to page 3. And once again we're going to leave that on none so it doesn't do anything. And say OK. Alright, and then this one is going to go to page 4. So we're going to go to type hyperlink, new hyperlink, set this to page 4, say OK. And we want this one to go to page 5 of our document. So we're going to go here and make it 5, say OK. And then finally, page info, that will go to the last page of our document, which is page 6. And say OK. All right, so now all of these should be links that go to the other pages. And if you want to test how that works, you can go to File and say Publish Online. If your school computers don't let you do Publish Online, then you can do Export PDF. But I think it would be cool to try this Publish Online. And we want to publish a new document. It's called Study App. And you can just leave it on General and leave it on single, leave these unchecked and say publish. So what this does, it kind of makes a little website of your document. And we want, you can copy the link when you're done because you're going to paste that into your portfolio to turn it into me, but for now you can just say view document and we can test and see how it works. So let's go when we click on general info, yes you can see that it goes um, to the next page. All right, so that is working fine. Now we want to go set up titles for each of the pages right now. Our study guide should be at the top of this page, but we want the other pages to be titles of what that page is. So you're going to go in here, get your text tool and select this and type in the name of each page that we have here. So we have color info is page, oops, let's just go from here. Go to page three and we'll type color info and page four. Let's change that to business and design, oops. And go to page five, change this to copyrights, and then finally page six, it's our last page, we'll say page info. All right. All right, so I also want you to make the link to the InDesign logo go to the home page so that no matter what your page you're on, if you click on the InDesign logo, it will go back to home. So the way we do that is we go back to the master, because I see this is on the master page, and the only way you can edit it is going to the master. So you want to click on the InDesign logo, go up to Window, and choose Interactive, and then Hyperlinks. Window, Interactive, Hyperlinks. Click on that, and it wants to let you um, make a logo to a website but we want to change it to a logo on a page. We want it to go to page one of our document. So if you click this plus, create new hyperlink, and then you can make it go to page. So we want to go link to a page, and we want it to go to page one. And once again, leave all this blank, and then say OK. And now we're going to save that, and you can check on your publish online again. Once again, if this doesn't work, put it on update. If it doesn't work, just make a PDF of it and then say publish and we want to update the link. Yes. And then view document. And now let's try it. Let's click on one of these pages here and then click there. Yep, it's working. So every time we go on another page, if you click on the InDesign logo, it'll always take you back to the navigation page.